Hallo, hallo, hallo. It's October 7. I am at Plum Island. And I want to show you something which is very difficult to explain in physics. The water is running. from the beach back to the ocean because it's low tide. And look at these ripples, they are very periodic. Look there, how beautiful. So the question is, what is the physics behind this are phenomenal. I will not send you the answer because I don't know the details of the physics myself. But I do know the name of the instability. It's very common on beaches and water runs down. And of course, it has to do with the underlying soil, which in this case is sand. So look that you see that the water is pretty much standing still here, it's not flowing. Oh, you see the shadow of my wife. But you see that because of that phenomenon of the ripples, when the water was flowing, the sand also is no longer just flat. It clearly shows step functions, up and down. That remarkable. Of course it's related to that instability that I discussed with you earlier, which is a very complicated physics. to take a look at this. This is not part of the physics problem. But notice that when the water runs from high tide back to the ocean at low tide, that apart from the instability of the water waves that are created, there is also a repetition in In the sand, in other words, not just in the water, closely, you will see that there is clearly a pattern between the sand that sticks out above the water 
and the water runs down in between. It's very noticeable. Very noticeable. So there's a period between the individual streams of water. See here again, striking example of the period in the separation between the streams of water. Going back to the ocean. See the sand sticks out above the water, and there is a distinct period. I count one, two, three, four, five, I count seven of those sand. Let's call them sand dunes. So here we have a very special. Well, that's impossible to explain unless you happen to have a PhD in math and in physics and unless you, you aced the JEE -E advanced exam. You need that to explain this. So I won't even ask you. This is another interesting phenomenon that I've seen hundreds of times on Plum Island. Nature's way of drawing perfect circles in the sand. Well, I'm sure you can explain that one. Perfect circles. Remember the famous song? Writing love letters in the sand. Yes, have you ever written love letters in the sand? I have. This buoy washed up on the beach, it's not uncommon. You're not allowed to take them because this is reservation land, this is a refuge wild park. But do any one of you know what these buoys were used for? Of course it was moved onto the beach after a storm, so it was not here permanently. But what was it originally used for? It's not a physics problem, but it's interesting. <laughs> oh, you see my shadow. Oh, very far in the distance. Okay, so here comes the last from Ireland question. Look at these shells. It's very common that the shell has a near perfect hole in it. Many have it. And you'll see several of them here. here. And so the question is, what causes that? <laughs> All right, that's the last one today. So my wife and I were three hours on the beach and that generated many problems. I refreshed my knowledge on what causes ripples on the water and also ripples in the sand. And it's perfectly okay that you do the same. 
I remembered some key words of the instabilities and that helped me, but even if you know no key words, you will still find the physics. Very complicated, by no means easy. All right, over and out for now. And of course, even if you don't want to join us on our vacation, of course, we will still be friends. <laughs>